Hello everyone, this is your Daily Nessa Gaming. Today we're going to be looking at 15 of the most anticipated games of 2024. First up is Prince of Persia The Lost Crown. Prince of Persia is back after an 11 year break and this time it's a Metroidvania side-scrolling action adventure. The Last of Us Part 2 is getting remastered so technically it's not a new game but it's going to be nice to play this game again with shiny new graphics. Tekken 8 is coming out on January 26 and it's finally here after a 9 year wait. The legendary fighting game is one of the very best and once again we'll be able to take on our friends and prove who's the ultimate fighter. Next up, Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is coming out later this month and some might say it's anticipated for the wrong reasons. People are looking forward to see whether it does truly flop as predicted or surprises us all and is a huge hit. Skull and Bones coming out on February 16th is anticipated for the same reason as Suicide Squad, but will it be any good? Who knows, but we do get to play as a pirate, which is pretty cool. Mario vs Donkey Kong, it's the matchup of the century. You get to play as Mario in various puzzle-based platforming levels trying to track down Donkey Kong. You know, the usual stuff. Final Fantasy VII originally came out in 1997 and then there was a remake of that in 2020 and now there's a completely original sequel coming out later this year. I know it's a little confusing, we'll figure it out. Alone in the Dark is the reimagining of the original game that came out in 1992, where private investigator Edward Carnby, this time played by David Harbour and Emily Hartwood played by Jodie Comer, travel to Dorsetto Manor to investigate the disappearance of Emily's uncle. So expect to see some supernatural scares and Resident Evil-esque action. Rise of the Ronin is the second PlayStation exclusive to have you down the hat of a samurai. However, instead of having it be set in the 1200s like Ghost of Tsushima, we're fast forwarding to the 1800s and the action adventure will be set against the backdrop of the Edo period with the game allowing you to make your own choices that will impact the story. It feels like 2024 is the year of games making a return. Dragon's Dogma 2 is the sequel that fans have been waiting 10 years for. The action RPG sees plenty of sword swinging and monster slaying and of course dragons. Princess Peach is finally getting her first chance in 19 years to be the main character in a game, but unfortunately for her, she shares a release date with a samurai and a crazy fantasy RPG. The game is going to be presented as a play, and she'll be transforming into a sword fighter, a cake maker, and a kung fu master along the way. Europa looks like the dream game for any Studio Ghibli fan. Not many games have managed to hit that aesthetic perfectly, probably since Nino Kuni, and Europa looks like it'll be an amazing adventure. Hades 2 is coming from Supergiant Games. It's the same team behind Transistor and Bastion. It's the sequel to Hades, the multi-game of the year award winner. You'll be playing as the daughter of Hades, and this time attempting to stop the titan of time, Kronos. Obsidian are probably best known for Fallout New Vegas, and Avowed is the first big time RPG that they've taken since then. The Skyrim-esque adventure looks like it'll be one to remember as it makes its way exclusively to PC and Xbox. Star Wars Outlaws is coming out in late 2024. This game lets us play in the Star Wars universe without wielding a lightsaber for a change. Little has been revealed about the story, but it's going to be the first fully open world Star Wars game ever. That wraps up all the games that I'm looking forward to this year, but let me know if I missed anything, and I'll see you guys later.